So this review video is a bit different than every review video on YouTube right now because every tech YouTuber makes a video about a phone as soon as it comes out but nobody cares about it after 6 months or a year later. So that's what I'm going to do right now. I'm going to re-review everything that I've reviewed in the past and uh, I'll tell you if my thoughts have changed on this and if I still think that it's worth buying that tech at the end of 2018. And my original reviews for all the items that I've mentioned in this video are linked in the description and in the i button. So if you're interested in any of these, make sure you watch them. So let's continue. Also, this video is not going to be an entire review of everything that I have already reviewed because first of all I have already made those videos and second if I did those reviews again it will take me a long long time and this video would get more than 30 minutes long easily. So with that said let's get started. Ok so first of all let's talk about Audio Technica ADH CKX 5s. <sighs> yeah. Okay, I reviewed these headphones uh, over more than a year ago and my views about these headphones still stand the same. And I like these headphones so much that I ordered another pair for myself. This time in white because well, no other color was available. And I have to tell you these are super hard to find right now new. But uh, you can find refurbished models for around a thousand rupees on Amazon easily. But because these are so rare, uh, I saw someone list these same headphones for like 5000 on Amazon. And I don't think 5000 is a good price for you to buy these. So if you can get these for around 1000 to 2000 rupees, that's a good sweet spot to buy these. But if more than that, I don't think you should go for these headphones. These are just not worth that much money. But below 2000, these are just perfect. Now the second is the Lenovo Z5170, my laptop, it's the i7 version, I made a video about this and I got a lot of hate for that video. And still to this day I stand by my review of it and I just want to add one more thing. After about a year and a half of using it just out of the warranty period, its battery just died. I had to keep it plugged in constantly and as soon as I pulled the plug the laptop turn off so that was a really bad experience and uh, because it was out of warranty Lenovo didn't fix it and I had to get a battery myself which cost me around 6000 rupees so yeah this laptop is not worth buying in 2018 because around that price range around I got it for 60,000 rupees and after adding in the price of another battery it was around 66,000 and I think in that price range you can get a much much better laptop with the new 8th generation Intel CPUs. So I got that as well and this is the Dell 5370. I got this laptop around one month ago and it has been performing really really great. Uh, it has a 256GB SSD and Core i5 8th generation processor with 8GB of RAM. It's small, it's light, it's portable and it has a much much better screen than what I had in my Lenovo. And I'll be making a video about this laptop really soon so if you want to watch that subscribe to my channel. And the next thing is the Lenovo N50 wireless mouse. It has been almost 2 years, more than 2 years I think and it's still performing great, it performed great always. Also it's really hard to get so if you can find this on the internet go buy it but don't spend more than 1500 rupees. I paid around 1000 rupees for this and uh, that's it. I think 1500 is a good value for this but don't go over 1500. And another thing is the blue snowball ice and there's only one thing I want to add that I regret with buying this is why I didn't buy the blue snowball because of the added functionality and so little price difference. But still if you want to get this you will not regret it. 
but if you can get the blue snowball and the next is logitech k380 keyboard this one and it is one of the best Bluetooth keyboards that you can buy it comes only around 1500 rupees and it has great battery life since the day i bought it i haven't changed the battery even once it can pair with up to three devices at a time and you can switch between those using the three function keys and it is a great experience to type on the only one complaint i have with it which is not really a complaint even because well its price is so low and that is it does not have backlit keys so yeah but if you want to buy a keyboard with backlit keys you have to pay much more than what you pay for this okay the last item is my hp odyssey backpack and it has been almost three years i've been using it every day i actually have strapped my skateboard onto this and it survived the heavy weight of a skateboard and it's still in great shape except for a bit of wear and tear but that's expected uh, for using it every day for three years and what's great is that it's still easily available on Amazon. I got it for 1600 rupees and it's always around 1500 to 2000 rupees. For buying it, you should definitely get it. It's one of the best backpacks that I have ever used. And that's it. Also, I've reviewed tech other than these, like the Motorola Lumineers headphones and Motorola Moto G, but I don't think those are worth buying in 2018. So I didn't cover those. And this is it for this video. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. And if you want to watch more videos like this, subscribe to my channel. I upload every Monday and Friday. So I will see you on any of the so on, on, on these two days.